Hey guys, what's up? It's Giz. Uh, today I wanted to share a little personal life update on this video. As I know, a lot of you, a lot of you, been wondering like, how the does this dude always goes back and forth, Korea and Japan, uh, still doing his Conwear brand, still doing his job, and basically all of that. So. Um, as some of you may have already suspected, I did leave my previous company back in February. I do, I did have a lot of paid leaves, holidays left, so I was on leave, so that's why I didn't really need to come into the office as well. And yeah, it's been a great journey for the past three years. Really learned a lot about the luxury business, the ins and outs. Helped me grow into a much more mature person, much more business oriented way and financially as well it helped me set up a very good starting positions to start my own brand so very very thankful of the experience that i had uh, but now yeah i think the main focus would be for calm aware right now at the moment and hopefully once it settles down uh i do have some other ideas and plans Fast forwarding now, this video is sponsored by Farfetch, so you guys will be able to enjoy a unique discount code under my name, Giz10YT. Uh, the conditions for this discount code will be written down below in the description box, so feel free to check that out after you watch this video. And yeah, this, this sponsorship was really kind of, quite like cool to me because going back three years when I first joined the company, we do a lot of business development calls, so fortunately I was lucky enough to work with all the luxury clients. However, uh, for some reason I could not work with Farfetch Japan. And fast forwarding three years later, the feeling to be reached out directly by Farfetch headquarters on this unique opportunity for this, I guess, content was quite, was quite cool. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was really cool feeling. So. It kind of shows how much I grew within these couple of years, within these three years, and that there's literally no boundaries. So thank you again for Farfetch for this. And I personally like to use Farfetch because of its mass selections of products ranging from new emerging designers to luxury to very niche brands as well and the variety of products they have because their ability to kind of gather all these small boutiques and department stores across all different countries globally i think is the one of the biggest merit they have plus they have fast shipping dhl i order, I order my package and then i think three four days later boom it arrived in my footsteps so i think that's one of the key features that they offer plus I know for a fact that my friend, that my good friend Nikken, he snatches a lot of good steals normally during like the off seasons as well because there's so many different boutiques. And I remember he used to snatch some really good steals of wraps in his coat. So be on the lookout for that as well. And but however, with that being said, sometimes there may be a difference in prices depending on where you're located in. For example, if you are trying to buy a European product while you're based in Europe, but that product might be based, might be stored in a Japanese boutique, then obviously there's two kind of custom fees involved. So I think sometimes prices may seem a little bit higher, but like try to switch to countries and you'll be surprised. You'll find a lot of good stuff man, that way. So, yeah, so again, uh, enough of me talking. Let's go straight into the pickups videos. I'm pretty sure you guys will like it because I am very satisfied with my pickups as well. And don't forget to use the code GIZ10YT as well. It will be super helpful for me. So, enjoy. Yeah, so the first first up is this Kiko Kostadinov 21SS, kind of like a grocery bag. Uh, 
I mean, you guys already know I love Kiko Kostadinev. And this season, I, really, I didn't really pick up a lot other than this uh, bag. It's made from 100% polyester, but this is really, really convenient. I've been using this bag for the past couple weeks and this one is super convenient. Basically, it's not, it doesn't really have like a zipper closure. It's kind of like more of a grocery bag. So it's very convenient to just put a lot of stuff in like so. And surprisingly, it can fit quite a lot. And then it has like these lace trim details uh, in a very light bluish color, which really adds on to a really nice point. And you could wear it like more on the back, more like a side back, not like a, more like a sling bag. Or you could just wear it kind of like as a cross bag. But it's a really nice upcoming, has a really nice point to your outfit, especially uh, in this light jacket or the summer t-shirt kind of weather. So very satisfied with this. And inside, there's this, uh, what do you call it? Of course, there's another layer of an inside pouch, Kiko Kostadinov, Riri zippers, you know the deals. And on the outside, there's actually like another, kind of like a pocket. I haven't really got the full grasp of uh, what to do with this one, but yeah, you can maybe put your hands in like this, or maybe you can put in your like a, put in like this cute doggies. <laughs> but, all right, so this one's a beautiful bag. Came out in two colorways: the pink and the brown one. Uh, pink was a little bit loud for me, so I chose this brown color. Uh, the official name for it is uh, Club Brown with light gray. But I'm gonna be enjoying this bag for a while. All right. Okay, so the next pickup I did, it's kind of like a, I've never bought this brand before, so it's quite exciting for me. And yeah, so this, I picked up a pair of, uh, pair of derbies. Not really sure if you can tell the brand right now. I have not unboxed this for a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm quite excited for this as well. But yep, this pair of derbies is from Guidi. It's a Guidi 992's horse leather. So let's unbox this right now. Okay, I cannot see, so let me flip the camera right now. Okay, so when you open the box, it says, want to be sure your guidis are authentic. Okay. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is, but it says find the code in the, beneath the sole of the left shoe of the pair. And basically, I guess, scan it. Um, okay. Not really sure if I'll do that right now because I bought it from Farfetch, so it must be real. And it says it's been crafted in Italy. Okay. And yada yada yada. Let's get to the shoes. So I'm assuming this is a shoe pouch. Oh no. What's this? Oh, okay. You give a uh, Vibram soles to, I guess, reinforce it. Oh, they give, oh, they give free Vibram soles. Awesome. What's this? I'll just put it out there. And I guess this is the shoe dust bag. Shoe dust bag. I already have my Kiko back, so what's this? 
Okay, it's for the souls. All right. All right, I'm already loving it. Oh! Okay. Okay. That's one sexy horse leather. Oh my. The only time I tried on the Guidi was uh, the PL2s before. In the store. But these are sexy. Wow. Right, let me see the other pair. Okay. Oh, why is this not laced like that? But. Ah, so this is how you check the authentic authenticity. Okay, I'm not really sure if I should cover my coat or not. I'll just cover my coat just in case. And yes, shout outs to Farfetch again. So I bought these in a size 42. I'm normally a 41, but I kind of heard the these kind of run small because it's quite thin here. So let me try it on. I hope it fits. So this is matching with my kind of a straight pants. I'm just still playing with the silhouette of the shoes right now. It's something new, so and so I'm still figuring out. I'll probably figure out after the video as well. See what's the best. But hmm. Now this is more with a kind of a straight pants, um, kind of like a tapered skinny pants. These look fine. as well. Bear with me. Hmm. Okay. I think black on black looks the best. Let's see. Let me try to close this. Close the cobra axis. I think it could also go well with my Shinya Koska pants, the baggy pants. But I don't have that with me right now. So this will do for today. Mm -hmm.